Virgo moon Aries oh, sorry Virgo sun Aries moons welcome to your 2021 sun moon reading if it resonates consider a personal reading when you view it is when you meant to see it it does not matter the time of year and while you're at it check out your 2020 sun moon predictions that are my playlist and see if they rang true for you I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments so make sure you post yours up first portion of this we'll go over the traits of your sun moon sign only at the main cards we'll take a quick look at your 2021 second portion will be the link below to the vimeo reading where i'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers dividing the year up into four different sectors other things to mention, ask me a question on Instant Code, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, check out my playlists for my what is your ideal career based on your midheaven and also what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign, which I work on here and there. Otherwise, let's get to the traits of your sun moon combination. Sorry, I'm hesitating. I just woke up from a nap. I'm like, blah. Alrighty, so Virgo, Sun, Aries, Moons. Um, this combination has dual sides between being reserved and timid to impulsive and passionate. You're active, bold, and you love to initiate, but when it comes to getting things done, the caution and insecurity of your Virgo ways tends to hold you back. While friendly, full of energy, and a stickler for details, you can also be obsessed with perfectionism, overdramatic, and too careful. Dealing with anxiety and nervousness can be a constant struggle. Another one is being torn between taking action or holding back. Mentally, you're very aware, insightful, and exact. At times, it can be hard for you to control your temper, and you may do or say things that you later may regret. Don't try so hard to prove to others your worth and work more on self-acceptance and compassion. Not the most social creatures, you have a tight circle of trusted friends and keep them close. Somewhat detached and cool, you consider emotional expression a form of weakness. Your ideal partner would be someone who praises your efforts and appreciates how you will fuss over them. In work, you have incredible drive and can be often found in a position of leadership. However, employees and coworkers may find your strive for perfection demanding and can misunderstand your intentions as being judgmental and critical. Reliable and hardworking, you need a career that challenges you and provides excitement at the same time. Nothing will make you walk out a door quicker than a boring and tedious job. Okay, so let's see what's going on for your 2021. Holy Spirit Angels, if I have the universe, can you please invite your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgo, Sun, Aries, Moons for the year 2021? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Become closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages for their greater good. Virgo, Sun, Aries, Moons. What do you see? What do they need to know? Can you please show me January, February, March for Virgo, Sun, Aries, Moons? And you have the Three of Swords in reverse. April, May, June. You have the Sun card in the upright. July, August, September. You have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And October, November, December. You have the Six of Swords, interesting, and did they hear there, you might move away from something. Um, okay, the beginning of the year, January, February, March, Three of Swords are reversed. I'm kind of getting that you had, um, could have had a betrayal happen, some sort of trauma, some sort of loss of some sort. And in the first quarter of the year, you're actually moving past that. You've accepted the pain. You've realized it's time to let go. You realize that it's time to move on. So I kind of see that your efforts are kind of concentrated on that and that you're healing from that. Um, you may also recover, you also might receive an apology, which is going to enable you to actually do this. Let me move these cards over a little bit so they're more in screen. Okay. Now, that's good that you kind of do that because then we see in April, May, June, things could not be better. Uh, you have this uh, happiness, you're very joyful. Um, some of you might be going away to some place, very warm, or you're just feeling very warm, very radiant. You're experiencing very good health, um, optimistic, being fulfilled. I mean, things couldn't be better. You don't have anything to hide from anyone. Um, it's babies on a white horse. And, you know, I, I almost feel like, um, you know, you are who you are. You're comfortable in your own skin. Um, and I really feel like you've gotten to a really uh, good version of yourself. And I think part of it was how you went about um, overcoming what you overcame here or the process of doing it. And here, I feel like you're really coming into your own. Now, July, August, September has you in a situation with a group of people. Um, could be a collaborative, could be a team. Um, whatever it is, it's more than one person. 
um, usually three or more because obviously it's the three of pentacles and this is a situation where um, it, it there you guys aren't getting along as well as you could be um, for the greater effort so I mean this could be a project it could be a place that you work um, I think it more of a work situation, colleagues, a project that you've been put on with other people. And the big thing about this is that um, people are not appreciating um, your efforts that you're putting into this. As a matter of fact, they don't realize um, what you're bringing to the table, what your value is. Um, and as a result, I feel like there's dissent in the ranks because of this and this is not working out. And uh, or it could also be that this is a project and it's not necessarily, um, you know, working out and you think it's a very poor plan that's put in place. Um, so you don't want to have anything to kind of do with this because it's going to reflect on you. Which is interesting because in October, November, December, we see you moving away. We see you leaving something. So you could very well be leaving whatever this was. You just kind of got to the end of your rope. You feel like it wasn't working for you. So um, you could relocate to another department, another position. Um, for some of you, you could actually be moving over water. So you could actually be re relocating to a new home. But basically, it's just packing everything up and um, going separate ways with somebody or going separate ways with the location and, and having some regrets, but knowing that wherever you're heading to is a better place and you know you're doing the right thing through. So you're not really looking back as you kind of push forward. So that's what I have for you all. Uh, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be pulling these clarifiers and we'll go more into depth. Check out your 2020 sun moon readings that are my playlist. Also check out what is your ideal career based on your midheaven. What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, best of luck to you in 2021. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.